Hey everyone, welcome to another NLP video. Today we're looking at the paper Adapter Hub, a framework for adapting transformers by a bunch of authors from Technical University in Darmstadt, New York University, University of Cambridge, and DeepMind. The paper introduces adapterhub.ml, a library for managing, downloading, and sharing adapter models. So what are adapter models? For those of you that don't know, well, you know that I'm sure that large-scale language models like BERT, Roberta, and XLM have been very popular in the last, last um, month and months and years. And the way pe people typically use those models is they take the pre-trained language models um, and they fine-tune and fine-tune them on a downstream task like natural language inference or sentiment analysis or question answering um, and they need to do that fine-tuning for each new task that they are interested in solving that's what people do typically and this is all great and it works pretty well however it's quite redundant in terms of storage because you need to have multiple copies for each of your fine-tuned model for each task and Recently, in the last couple of years, a new approach of doing this fine-tuning um, that has been introduced is through the so-called adapter models. The idea of adapter models is to insert a small number of bottleneck layers um, within each sub-layer of the large models and to freeze the rest of the architecture and to fine-tune only the bottleneck, the newly introduced bottleneck layers. This is illustrated in this architecture, uh, sorry, in this figure here. So let's say you have some transformer architecture as so, and um, you have uh, this multi-head attention layers, you have your whatever layer norm, fit forward, and so on layers. And basically, adapter models will plug in a couple of small feed forward or whatever layers, different layers, within those layers um, for each transformer layer and then you're going to be fine-tuning only those layers and freezing the other layers. So this has some benefits in terms of storage and reusability because you're not going to be needing a new copy of the BERT models, but um, basically you only need to share, let's say you want to um, be more storage efficient, you only need one copy of your BERT architecture and then you can um, just plug in the adapter of parameters which you have learned for each task and then you can basically reuse your BERT architecture for each task uh, much more in, in a much more storage friendly way kind of and this paper then introduced this adapter hub ml library for managing and um, sharing and so on and so forth and training new adapter models easily they support three architectures, the BERT, BERT um, Roberta, and XLM. And um, one cool, way, cool thing about this is that with adapter models, you're actually achieving the same or sometimes even better performance um, versus fine-tuning a whole um, model on your downstream task illustrated in this table here where you are basically on a huge range of tasks adapter models in the last two columns here achieve the same or sometimes even better performance versus a full model fine-tune on the specific task like natural language inference question answering or whatever however the storage saving is quite can be quite significant um, because adapter models can um, can range in size from one megabyte le up to let's say 100 megabytes which is quite a huge saving versus having a couple of gigabytes new BERT or whatever architecture for each task or language you're interested in so in this library available at adapterhub.com ML, you have uh, management and easy 
easy way to download and fine tune new models. Um, this 175 adapters released on 21 tasks and 32 languages. So it's kind of a good starting point if you want to um, basically use those adapter models, fine tune them on new tasks, new languages. Um, it's very easy to use. It's, it goes on top of the Hugging Face library and in a couple of lines you can be downloading a, for example, a bird-based encased model and then loading an adapter for sentiment analysis, let's say, and then using it to um, for inference purposes in your application. And this particular sentiment analysis model is only 3 megabytes, for example, um, and achieves on par performance with a fully, fun uh, fully fine tuned BERT model. So, for practical applications, this is obviously a really, really nice approach. It's actually, pretty cool. Um, I find it really cool that for the multiple languages, you have your, let's say, your b multilingual BERT model fine tuned on different languages. Let's say if we click on the German, let's say the BERT. You can load your BERT multilingual base model and then load the adapter, probably also a couple of megabytes. Um, and basically you have a really fine-tuned, powerful German model um, which you can use in your downstream applications without having, um, especially in multilingual applications, you could really save a lot um, by just having to deal with a single bird-based model and then loading a new adapter um, for each of your target languages of interest and already using that straight away. If you go to the website, there's also instructions for how you can train, your, uh, train a new adapter on your target task and data set. And um, that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to use and straightforward. So, seems to be a cool library. I would encourage you to check it out on your own and um, seems to be pretty practical. Maybe I should say that there's also, they do, um, there's a number of approaches for designing these adapter architectures. There's kind of two architectures implemented in this library so far, um, but they also support a way to define some new adapter architectures from what I understand. So it's an interesting um, research direction of how to come up with good adapter architectures for different tasks. So that is all that I wanted to cover for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time.